I'm squeezing the last bit of color out of my garden. I want to show you how. Just look at all of this color in my garden, and I'm embarrassed to tell you how late in the season it actually is. You see, these were just planted about 45 to 50 days ago from seed in the ground. So if you want to grow zinnias like this, you want to make sure the soil is warm and you give them plenty of sunshine, and they just need moderate water. And when you water them, you don't want to water them overhead. It's better to run like a soaker hose or something or deep soak the ground because you can get powdery mildew on the leaves of zinnias if you overwater them. Plus, it doesn't make the flowers last as long and they're not as good for cutting. When I planted these, I wanted just to have a, a mixture of colors. So what I did is I just got some packs of seed, mixed them all up together and sewed them down this long row. And if you look closely, you'll see the myriad of colors we have here. There's apricot and there's peach, there's red, there's yellow, even creamy whites and a wide range of pinks and reds. Now the other thing to look closely at is I also have some different flower forms. There are doubles, there are singles, and those that are considered a cactus form because they look like a cactus bloom with their slightly rolled leaves. I think the flower buds are equally fascinating. If you look closely, they almost look reptilian in that they have scales. It's really hard to tell what color it's going to be, but the form of that, when you examine it very closely, you can see it's quite beautiful in and of itself. The other interesting thing about zinnias, like so many cut flowers, is that the more you cut them, the more they put off side shoots and produce more and more flowers. So you're not hurting anything by coming out here and gathering up a bouquet like this every other day or so. And it also makes sense to come along and cut off any spent blooms. What you're doing is you're telling the plant that it needs to produce more flowers. You see, the plant is programmed to produce seed. So if you're lopping off these blooms where the seed pods are, the plant's thinking, I've got to produce more and more and more. That leads me to one other thing. You see, each one of these, as they dry, are great for saving because you can plant the seed next year. One other thing to keep in mind, before the blooms get too old and tired, you can actually collect them and dry them by just putting them in silagel and over about a week, uh, they'll dehydrate and you can use these in dried arrangements. If you've enjoyed these tips on zinnias, check out eHow Home. There's many more to see.